now. We open up the playpen. <laughs> we took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah. Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty, you know that, right? And black oh, yeah. people don't take a bath. Oh my god. They got these, they get these what they call ringworms in their head. Oh my god. And the talk about lice. Oh my god. And the women are just as they. Oh god, no. I was like, who would do this? Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, I had one of them. Yeah, how's everything going? Uh, not too bad. They sentenced me to two years and then gave me a state of execution until this coming Wednesday. I'm supposed to go over and report Wednesday if we don't get anything else done, but they, my attorney filed the appeal, and, and my attorney secretary called my attorney secretary and had her tell him to write a motion to suspend the sentence and put on the motion that there is no objection from the prosecution and that he would sign it. So, so what's that mean in a nutshell? Okay. Yeah, that's all I care about. Mike Cherie, Scott Wilson entered a no contest plea to involuntary manslaughter and the death of Heather Gentry. Investigators say she was injured back in 1985 when she was only six weeks old and ended up in a vegetative state until she died in 2006. She was 21 years old. Prosecutors say Wilson admitted to shaking Gentry the day she was injured. He was. Oh, Jeffrey, why are you a little punk? When are you going to grow up, boy? Wasting your time, spinning your wheels. <laughs> I don't know about you, boy. I guess you ain't never going to grow up. You're going to be a punk all the whole life. You and your little bitch friends. And I saw that video where their cousin threaten their lives. I can't understand why. They're such nice people. I mean, why would you want to, you know, have death threats on them? And I just don't, I don't understand it. You know? They're such good people. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you cheat your goddamn cousin out of seven hundred dollars, a repair that you didn't complete. Bunch of alcoholics calling me a drunk. You guys are a bunch of alkies. <laughs> Everything they're calling me, they are. That's a fact. 